Hello everyone, welcome to another video, welcome to the beautiful Sebring, where we're going to be doing an iRacing Porsche Cup race. Now this is the fixed series, not the open. So the Porsche Cup and Sebring, it's a brilliant combination, really, really tricky, although everybody seems to be just way quicker than I am. If you've seen me racing in the Porsche All-Stars the last couple of races, I've really struggled with the Cup car and I've never, ever struggled as much as I am now. I just can't seem to get my head around what I need to be doing. So to make things more difficult, the strength of feel for this one is just over 3,500. So this is a real challenge and we have qualified, well, not great, P11 with a 203.797. We can go quicker, but that was as quick as I could go in this qualifying session. I'm just finding it really, really tough. And the objective of this one, well, it's safety rating. We need safety rating, although when the green flag drops, no doubt I'll get a bit scrappy. So before we get into the video, if you do like it at any point, please remember, click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. So 12 laps around Sebring in the Porsche 992 Cup car starting P11. Let's get on track. The track temp is 27. The air temp is 26 Celsius. P11. Okay, Dave. Get Here we ready. go. Let's go. Jeez, blimey, the guy behind has got a terrible start. He was the pole sitter. Right, I'm not going to fight him too much because uh, it's obviously so much quicker than I am. Especially when I All lock right. my brake up. I meant to let him through there. I meant to let him through. Right, we got through that by the skin of our teeth somehow. Oh, don't hit that curb. New Sebring. Oh, that's so bad through there. Go on, Rudolph. Just be sensible. Just be sensible. Get some heat into these tyres. Are we up? Down? We're up three. Rudolph's up ten. Blimey. There's going to be plenty of battling going on up ahead. I'll do well to keep up with these guys though. Blimey, they're so fast. So quick. So fast, it's ridiculous. I 
I don't know how to get it to turn. Like, we're on the same setup. I don't know how to do it, honestly. I don't know how to do it. Nearly losing draft. Get off there. Don't want any off tracks. We need a clean race. Terrible through there. Really bad through there. Rudolph's quickest man on track at the minute. Number one is having a nightmare, or the pole sitter, sorry, is having a nightmare. No, no. These guys aren't hanging around. Who's this guy? Rudolf Bloodstruckmorn. Blood Who's he? He's rapid. The Deltron, so you can see what lap times we're doing. Oh, Bruce is caught up. The Hulk. Go on, Ivo. Bruce Banner was the Hulk, wasn't he? I could easily have said for sight. God. Come on, David. What all of 
over the place. Man, this is tough. This is really tough. These guys are gone in front. See you, boys. I'm now the head of the train. Two or two point seven. Two seconds quicker than us. a bit better through there though. Is Bruce going to send it? Only halfway through, blimey. Lots of time yet though, anything can happen. The objective here is to have a clean race, that's what the objective is, really. If we don't, then there's a good chance that we could lose our A license here. Ah, oh, cracking exit there by Bruce. Go on lad, go on lad, go on lad. Get back in. Where are we now? Down to P8. Don't want any more off tracks. We got Kevin behind us, he dropped back earlier on, didn't he? He went off track a little bit earlier on. I didn't think I was going to get it stopped there, you know? I had to panic a little bit. See what these guys do on this back section. That's where I'm struggling on the last sector, I think. 
That right hander going onto the back straight. Even with somebody to follow, I struggle. Close. All you need to say, Jim. Close. Kevin nearly died behind. Take the pressure off me a little bit. That's her. I don't want to give him an opportunity to get back into this. Lock number two, nine of 12. We need to keep him right back there. So this is all good training for the PESC series, the All-Star series. We need all the practice we can get, I think. Next week's at Long Beach, so it's going to be super tricky. So Kevin's in Dally's draft now, so them two might scrap. I hope they do.
Warte. P4 and P5 are close together as well, so potential there. Oh, blimey. It's okay. It's okay, don't panic. <laughs> right. So, two more laps. Natalie is 2.6 seconds back. I'll take B7. All day long. Yo, 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 yo. Go like that. How bad is that? That is so bad. Those two behind, if I don't get my skates on, they're going to catch me. They're going to catch me. Kevin's gone though. As long as I don't make any stupid mistakes and lock up the tyres or, or anything like that, it should be alright. I don't know if he's 1.9 seconds a lap quicker than me though. Come on, Dave, don't throw this away. I mean, I know it's only P7, but P7. You're mad, Jim. You're mental. We've got half a lap. It's four and a half seconds up the road.
Pomocen. And I go wider than a wide thing. But it's alright, nice and safe. You know what? P7, two incident points. I'll take that. I will take that. Blimey, that's tough. That is tough. These guys are on another level. Ridiculous. Right, let's have a look at the carnage. Now, it was a bit chaotic at the beginning, so we'll just let the beginning run on. We didn't get a bad start. Much better than that guy there and the other guy. So we'll just let this run on just for now. Took the opportunity to get past the number five car there. But we would see him again a little bit later. Let's get you going through there. Three wide, somebody on the grass. And somehow we managed to get through that unscathed. He's dead. He's dead. Yep, well dead. Is there going to be a wall scrape, is it? No, no, a little bit of touchy-touchy. And again, oh no. gonna happen here nothing gonna be a wall scrape or something but we'll skip that ah the number two car there that was dally he said that he was going to report the other fella but the other fella just went for an opportunity i think i think it was keeping it nice and tight i don't think it was a punt at all yeah he's, hmm, he's maybe a bit late Thinking about that again, yeah, probably wasn't on, but I wouldn't have thought it would be reportable. Oh, this is what happened to Richard behind. Oh, dear. Oh, no. No, stop. That is one used Porsche. What's going to happen here? Why is it? Going on here? Is his car toast? No? Strange? That was weird. And that is it, I think. Everybody's going to be popping their engine. Richard's car is dead, I think. Yeah, it is now. And that is it. Right, let's have a look at the results. Okay, so there were three splits for this race. This was the top split. Strength of field, 3,508. So we gain safety rating, thankfully, 0.23, that takes us to 1.66. And we gained a little bit of I rating, 22. So Martinius got the win, Yanni P2 and Guilam P3. We finished P7, car number 8, started P11. Fastest lap at 2.03.7, 1.1 seconds slower than the race winners. Two incident points, overall really happy. So who was the biggest winner? Well, it's going to be Rudolph, I think. He had an absolute blinder. He gained 60 I rating. And the biggest loser is going to be Kevin Richard, who finished 13th. He lost 63. So there we go, P7. To be honest, I'm really happy with that result. This race was full of super, super quick guys. We gained safety rating. We gained I rating. Not a bad little race. You've got to be happy. I'm not really sure where I'm going wrong with the Porsche Cup car. I'm obviously doing something 
fundamentally wrong. I think I'm being a little bit too hesitant on the accelerator and I might not be trail braking enough. More practice needed. So anyway, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.